Dubai, a city known for its ultra-modern skyscrapers, luxury shopping and lavish lifestyle. But there's one aspect of Dubai that stands out even more. It's artificial islands. These man-made wonders like the Palm Jumeirah and the World Islands have transformed Dubai's coastline, capturing global attention. Yet Dubai hasn't stopped building. More islands are in the pipeline, raising the question, why does Dubai keep building artificial islands? In today's video, we'll dive deep into the reasons behind Dubai's fascination with artificial islands. Before we jump in, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell for more deep dives into the world's most intriguing developments. The Origins of Dubai's Artificial Islands the story of Dubai's artificial islands dates back to the early 2000s during an era of rapid transformation across the city. At the time, Dubai was beginning to emerge as a global business hub, but it was still far from the tourist hotspot we know today. Unlike neighboring countries rich in natural resources, Dubai faced a challenge – how to attract international attention and diversify its economy. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Dubai's visionary ruler, set an ambitious plan in motion. His goal was to make Dubai a world-class city with a thriving tourism sector, and he knew that something unique and unforgettable was needed to achieve this. The solution? Build extraordinary artificial islands that would catch the world's eye. Palm Jumeirah, the first of these man-made islands, was unveiled as a marvel of engineering a palm-shaped island extending into the Persian Gulf, designed to house luxury hotels, residences and entertainment venues. The Palm Jumeirah was followed by the announcement of two more massive palm-shaped islands, Palm Jebel Ali and Palm Deira, as well as a cluster of islands known as the World Islands. These projects mark Dubai as a pioneer of land reclamation on a grand scale, sparking global curiosity and admiration. Dubai's decision to invest heavily in artificial islands was bold, but it paid off by putting the city on the map. Soon, Dubai became known for its iconic skyline and luxurious resorts, transforming itself from a desert city to a global attraction. However, this transformation wasn't purely aesthetic. There were deeper motivations at play that drove Dubai to keep pushing forward with these artificial islands. economic ambitions. At the core of Dubai's artificial island projects lies a strong economic vision. Dubai's leaders knew that relying solely on oil revenues would not be sustainable in the long run, as oil reserves are finite and volatile. So to secure a prosperous future, Dubai needed to diversify its economy. Tourism, real estate and hospitality were identified as key growth areas and the artificial islands became the perfect vehicles to drive this diversification. The Palm Jumeirah, for example, has attracted millions of tourists over the years, boasting luxury hotels like Atlantis, The Palm, renowned beach clubs and high-end residential developments. By creating high-value real estate on the islands, Dubai has been able to attract affluent residents and investors from around the world. Properties on these islands command premium prices, which has not only boosted Dubai's real estate market, but also generated significant revenue for the city. These islands are also designed to be self-sustaining hubs of commerce. The idea is that each island has a mix of attractions, from shopping malls and restaurants to leisure and entertainment facilities, creating a micro-economy within Dubai's broader economy. This approach means that both residents and tourists can find nearly everything they need without having to leave the island, which keeps the spending and economic benefits circulating locally. In addition to attracting tourists and investors, Dubai's artificial islands have also helped the city stand out as a luxury destination. With exclusive resorts and waterfront properties, Dubai has gained a reputation for providing a luxurious lifestyle that few other cities can match. This reputation has drawn global attention and established Dubai as a key player in the tourism industry, which contributes billions of dollars to its economy every year. Moreover, these islands serve as powerful marketing tools for Dubai's brand image. The city's skyline, punctuated by the palm-shaped islands, has become iconic and instantly recognizable worldwide. 
This brand power fuels further tourism, business and investment opportunities, reinforcing Dubai's position as a leading global destination. Engineering feats and innovation. Dubai's artificial islands aren't just economic assets, they're engineering marvels. Building these islands required groundbreaking technology, innovative methods and a relentless commitment to overcoming environmental and logistical challenges. The process of constructing these islands begins with dredging sand from the Persian Gulf and then carefully arranging it to form the desired shapes. For example, creating the distinctive palm tree shape of Palm Jumeirah involved carefully planned sand placement, requiring precision and expertise. To protect the islands from erosion, Dubai's engineers constructed massive breakwaters, walls of rock built around the islands to absorb the impact of waves and prevent the sand from washing away. These breakwaters are made from millions of tons of rock and are designed to withstand the harsh conditions of the Gulf, including strong waves and potential hurricanes. Engineers even factored in rising sea levels when designing these breakwaters, adding an extra layer of complexity and foresight to the projects. In addition to the physical construction, the infrastructure beneath and around the islands is equally impressive. Advanced underwater tunnels, bridges and monorails have been developed to connect the islands to the mainland, ensuring ease of access for residents and tourists. The Palm Monorail, for example, transports thousands of visitors daily from the mainland to the heart of the Palm Jumeirah, making it easier for people to navigate the island without adding to road congestion. Dubai's artificial islands have not only pushed the boundaries of modern engineering, but have also set new standards in sustainable construction practices. Although initial construction methods were environmentally invasive, Dubai has made significant strides in adopting eco-friendly technologies. For instance, the Dubai government now promotes using recycled water for landscaping and encourages green building standards on its new island projects. Dubai's commitment to constant innovation and engineering excellence has not only solidified its reputation as a leading city for infrastructure development, but has also inspired other countries and cities to explore the possibilities of land reclamation. Cities like Monaco, Singapore and even New York have looked to Dubai as a model for how artificial islands can be integrated into urban development, especially in cities where land is scarce. environmental concerns and criticisms. While Dubai's artificial islands are undoubtedly impressive, they haven't come without significant environmental costs. Building islands from dredged sand disrupts marine ecosystems, affecting everything from coral reefs to fish populations. For instance, the construction of Palm Jumeirah led to the destruction of large areas of coral reef and seabed, which impacted marine biodiversity. The dredging process releases sediments into the water, reducing water quality and impacting marine life. Environmentalists have raised concerns about the lasting impacts of these islands on the Gulf's delicate ecosystem. The construction of breakwaters has altered natural wave patterns and currents, which can lead to erosion in other areas of the coastline. Moreover, the continuous dredging of sand disrupts the Gulf's seabed, creating turbidity that reduces sunlight penetration, essential for underwater plant and coral growth. The World Islands, one of Dubai's most ambitious artificial island projects, has faced similar challenges. Originally designed as 300 small islands in the shape of a world map, many of these islands remain uninhabited due to environmental challenges and logistical complexities. Without sufficient development, these islands are prone to erosion and maintaining the man-made archipelago is costly. Dubai has responded to these criticisms by incorporating more sustainable practices in recent projects. New developments focus on reducing environmental harm by using advanced technology and materials that minimize ecological damage. For example, the Blue Waters Island project was designed with an emphasis on sustainability, utilizing green building technologies and ensuring that the natural flow of water around the island is preserved. To mitigate some of the environmental effects, Dubai has invested in coral restoration programs and artificial reefs. These efforts aim to restore marine habitats affected by construction, although critics argue that such measures are not enough to offset the damage already done. 
Environmental advocacy groups continue to monitor Dubai's future projects, pushing for stricter environmental regulations and accountability. The environmental impact of Dubai's artificial islands is a reminder of the balance required between progress and preservation. While the islands symbolize Dubai's ambition and innovation, they also serve as a cautionary tale for other cities considering similar projects. The question remains, can Dubai continue to expand its man-made paradise without compromising its natural surroundings? Cultural and Social Influence Beyond the economic and environmental impacts, Dubai's artificial islands have had a profound influence on the city's cultural and social landscape. These islands are home to some of the world's most luxurious properties, elite social clubs and exclusive events, reinforcing Dubai's reputation as a playground for the wealthy. The appeal of these islands lies not only in their breathtaking views, but also in the lifestyle they offer, one of luxury, exclusivity and prestige. Palm Jumeirah, for example, has become an international symbol of affluence and luxury. The island is home to high-profile residents, A-list celebrities and iconic hotels, making it a sought-after destination for the rich and famous. This concentration of wealth has transformed Dubai into a hub of luxury tourism, where visitors come to experience a lifestyle that's hard to find anywhere else. However, the artificial islands also attract people from all walks of life, including expatriates and migrant workers who contribute to Dubai's labor force. For many of these individuals, Dubai's development provides employment opportunities that are not available in their home countries. The city's multicultural society has fostered a unique blend of cultures, languages and traditions, creating a cosmopolitan atmosphere that's reflected in every corner of the city. what the future holds for Dubai's artificial islands. With ongoing projects like the Deira Islands and potential new developments, Dubai shows no signs of slowing down its artificial island ventures. But what does the future hold for these islands and how will Dubai address the challenges that come with them? Dubai's leadership has demonstrated a commitment to pushing forward with sustainable practices, investing in renewable energy and making artificial islands eco-friendlier. The city's new approach focuses on integrating renewable energy solutions and ensuring that future developments minimize their environmental impact. For example, new projects are exploring the use of solar power and desalination plants, aiming to reduce their dependence on the Gulf's resources. At the same time, Dubai's islands are evolving from purely luxury destinations to mixed-use developments that cater to a wider audience. Plans for upcoming projects include affordable housing, public parks and community centers to foster a more inclusive atmosphere. This shift reflects Dubai's goal of balancing luxury tourism with the needs of its residents. Looking ahead, Dubai may also face challenges from rising sea levels, a global issue that could impact on its coastal developments. To combat this, engineers are considering innovative solutions, such as building elevated structures and enhancing breakwaters to protect the islands from potential flooding. This forward-thinking approach could serve as a model for other cities facing similar environmental threats. Dubai's artificial islands are likely to continue evolving, serving as both economic engines and symbols of the city's resilience. While there are valid criticisms, the government's commitment to adapting and improving its projects shows that Dubai intends to remain at the forefront of urban innovation. And there you have it, an in-depth look into why Dubai keeps building artificial islands. What are your thoughts on Dubai's artificial islands? Do you see them as symbols of progress or do you think the environmental costs are too high? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications for more captivating stories from around the world. Thank you for watching.